with Bossy USA. I'm sitting here in the shop with Mrs. Mean Joe, uh, and I wanted to show you guys we actually have the new Stewart Systems covering um, stuff online, and I'm just wanted to demonstrate that this stuff is a very low odor, and it's not going to get you kicked out of the house when you start using it. So I'm going to start off with this is the uh, this is the Echo Bond. This is the glue. Now I will tell you that we are carrying these in a smaller 16 ounce bottle that actually has some different color tint to it so you can actually see what you're looking at when you're putting your glue down. And I'm actually going to be doing a demo video shortly uh, on how this stuff all works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack the lid on this and you'll see that the odor is almost nothing. I mean, it has almost no, no odor at all. Again, this is the Echo Bond. Okay, so this is going to be safe to use indoors, and it's not going to get you uh, a divorce or living out in the shed by yourself. The other thing I wanted to show you is we also have now the Stewart Systems Echo Fill. So this is going to be the filler that you use afterwards. This is the primer that you would actually put down so that you could paint. Now I will say this does have a slight odor to it, but it's more like a... Um, Latex house paint, really mild latex house paint. Yeah, it smells like paint. Yep, smells just like paint. So before we get started on the demo, I'm going to show you a couple things that you're going to want to make sure that you have on hand. First thing is, is we've done some testing and we've come to the conclusion that these foam brushes are going to be your best bet for application of both the Eco Bond and the Eco Feel. You can get these just about anywhere. You can get them in varying sizes and shapes. And we've discovered that this is about the best application we've been able to find so far. Next thing you're going to want to make sure that you have on hand is some water. As soon as you brush your lash brush stroke, you're going to want to make sure you put your brush directly in the water. We did ruin a brush in testing this because we used a regular brush first of all and secondly the Eco Bond actually changes and becomes really not water soluble if it has a chance to dry at all. So again as soon as you make your last brush stroke if you go right in the water that maintains it and you should be able to get that cleaned out of your brush by just using water. The Stewart system system with the Eco Bond and the Eco Feel are water soluble and they are almost zero odor. So first thing you're going to want to do before you get started is you're going to want to go ahead and shake these materials up really good. The Eco Bond as well as the Eco Feel they settle. So you're going to want to make sure you shake them. If you have access to a paint shaker, a paint shaker is actually the best way to shake up the Eco Feel. If you don't have a paint shaker handy, just shake it and stir it really good before you use it or it's going to be settled to the bottom of the container. You can actually go to the local hardware store and you can buy one of these drill fit stirrers. This is a fan blade stirrer. This actually is going to work with my drill and it's actually the correct size to be able to fit down inside the smaller uh, Ecofill containers so that you can get that nice and stirred back up again. Um, if it sets, I'm going to say probably, I haven't really tested this yet, but I would guess if it sets more than a day or two, I would go ahead and make sure that I remix this every time I'm going to use it to make sure that it's really mixed up good. Now what you can do is you can take your Eco Bond, pour a little bit inside of your container that you're going to be working from. Put your lid back on your container. And you're just going to go ahead and brush this on. So using the foam brush, you're just going to brush this on your wood. Again, this is going to be very low odor. You're not going to get kicked out of the house by using this stuff. I actually like to put something down under what I'm working on so I don't get it all over my bench. In this case, I've taken some wax paper. 
and I put some wax paper down. And you're just going to brush your entire area. And make sure you get good coverage. I will tell you the new containers of EcoBond that we have are actually a tent. And they're I got a blue tent to them. And it's really easy to tell where you've been and where you've not been. So once you have that all on there, good. Again, put your brush right in your water. You're going to want to make sure you do that immediately. With the foam brushes, it's good to have the lid handy because they'll want to float to the top. If you put the lid on, it'll keep the brush down inside the water until you get a chance to clean it up. And then what I will do is I will come back through here with some paper towels because I made a mess. And I'm just going to clean this up off of the wax paper a little bit so it's not dripping. Now what you're going to want to do is let that set up. It's going to take 20 to 25 minutes to really get set up good. And then we can move on to the next step. So now that our frame is pretty much dry, we can go ahead and set our iron I would say a little bit more than medium heat is going to be plenty. You can see here I have my piece of Balsa USA Plaintex. All I'm going to do is lay this down on my frame and I'm just going to lightly tack it. That little bit of heat is going to reactivate that glue so that it sticks to my framework. I'm going to try to get it as tight as I can. And you can see with just that little bit of heat, it's already well tacked on there. So now, I'm going to start pulling down one side. And I'm going to pull down the other side. Now I will tell you that our plain text has got quite a bit of shrink to it. So you'll be able to come back through here and just make this as tight as you would like. And I'm going to tack down the bottom edge. like that and you can see already that that's on there pretty good no issues at all so now I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna trim this up so we recommend keeping on hand some brand new sharp Hobby blades or razor blades. These are available on BalsaUSA.com. We have the 100 pack of razor blades and we also have the 100 pack of the number 11 hobby blades. These are all available on BalsaUSA.com. Now that I have that all trimmed like I want, I can go ahead and work my covering around. And you can see with this system, it doesn't take very much. I like the new bottles that we got in for the EcoBond because it's blue. It has a blue tint to it and it's easy to see where you've been.
applying heat on these corners you can draw some of that up if you want to you can actually apply a little bit more adhesive in these corners to get these corners to set good which I actually think I might do that so once you get to this point I can go in and just apply a little teeny bit right on the corner so it sticks a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so now I think we're pretty dry we can go ahead and finish up these corners and get this thing all set this has only been setting for about five minutes so as you can see it works pretty quick once that gets on there, it only takes a few seconds for that to adhere. Keep in mind, this is a system that is actually used on full-scale airplanes. I want to make sure I point out that our plain text covering is not rated to use on the full scale airplanes. So you can see as I work around this, it's not really taking a whole lot. After starting this, I would probably not recommend a sock for future because it seems to kind of want to stick to it a little bit but you can see just in that shorter time how quickly this is adhering again you don't want super hot iron because you can actually melt the fabric And I'm going to actually try to pull my sock off of here without burning my fingers. I think that's going to work a lot better for this application. Because I can always go back and clean up my iron later. Oh yes, yeah, so I like that a lot better. So I would not recommend a sock. Okay, so now you can see I'm fully adhered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just make a quick pass to make sure that I'm fully seated all the way around. And then you can start tightening this up. And you can see, as soon as I touch that, it tightened right up. You do want to be careful with this stuff because it will tighten up enough to break your wood. So you want to go easy with it. You don't want to go crazy tightening it. So as you can see right there, That's ready to go. Okay, get that just a little bit tighter. So that was Eco Bond. There you can see it's very tight. No issues. That's just exactly where you want it to be. So now let's move on to sealing the weave with our Eco Fill. So the next step in our process is going to be using the Eco Fill to fill the weave. What that means is right now, if I were to run water on this, and I'm not going to because it'd make a mess, it would literally run right through it. So what we want to do is we want to Feel, fill that weave. So if we open up our container here, and again, you're going to want to make sure that this is shaken well. And again, if you've got access to a paint shaker, it actually does settle quite a bit. And it's going to be good for you if you actually take the time to get this shaken. So I've switched over to a larger brush just to make this a little bit easier, cover a little bit quicker. And all you simply do is grab your Ecofill 
and brush it on. Now you will notice that this does have a gray tint. You don't want to go completely crazy with it because it is going to run through your material at first. And what we figured out with this is it takes two coats to get it nice and filled. And then you can go back and of course add as many coats as you'd like. I think on this particular version, I may actually add several coats because I want you to see how sandable it is. So you can paint this on and let this dry. Once this is dry, you can come back and continually apply more layers until you're satisfied with the texture that you want. If you know for sure you're going to put an automotive finish on this, I would put at least 10 coats and see how that works. Now, what it does recommend is it recommends you'll notice the brush strokes. You're going to want to make sure that you use brush strokes that go in the same direction. And then when you come back on your second layer, you're going to want to go in the opposite direction. For each continuous layer, you're going to want to make sure your brush strokes for the most part go in the opposite direction as your last ones. So now we're at the point where we're going to go wash this out quick and we're going to leave this dry and then I'll put some more coats on it and come back and show you the finished results. So now that we've got our surface prepped, you can see here it's all good to go. And the next step for your process is going to be some sanding. So you can actually, because of we've already got this ready to go, and this actually ended up being um, five coats of Ecofill. Now at this point, you can go ahead and start sanding and get it prepped for your paint. So you can sand this down. And what you're going to want to do is get it nice and smooth. And you'll notice that this sand's actually really good. You, you wanna, you're going to want to use a real fine sandpaper. You don't want to go too rough. And you can sand your entire area very easily. It doesn't take a lot of work to get it sanded where you want it. This will take out any imperfections, any bubbles that you ended up having. You can sand this right down. And then move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and get mine all sanded and prepped. And I will come back to you when it's time for paint. Okay, you can see here, I've got my surface all ready to paint. It's nice and smooth all the way across. I don't feel any perfection and imperfections on there. Everything is good to go. And this is ready to paint. Now you can use any, really any type of paint you want at this point. Uh, I prefer to use uh, rattle can, spray on latex paint, like latex house paint, but you can really use any paint you want on